Previously, on any day now. Who threw the first punch? They were asking for it, Miss Jackson. Even one of them gets behind us and says, how do you feel now, nigger? What does that have to do with self-defense? Everything. Because I'm going to put the word nigger on trial. Renee and I had a big this morning over the word nigger, and I just, I mean, when is it going to stop? Because I want it to stop and we bury Uncle Jimmy and everything he believed in. I want to put you in the hospital tomorrow. Is my baby okay? Well, she's and and the baby. Well, 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 I'll answer all of your questions, but one at a time. Is this because of my fall a couple of weeks ago? Did I do something to my baby? Because the doctor said that the fall couldn't have hurt no, the baby. No, it didn't. Pregnancy-induced hypertension can come on suddenly, especially with teens. But does it get any worse? Our immediate concern is making sure Kelly doesn't go into preterm labor. That's a possibility? Yes. If we're unable to stabilize Kelly's pressure, we may have no choice but to induce labor. Well, will the baby be okay if that happens? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, is there something you're telling us? Yes. 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 Right. Now, as soon as we get the blood and urine test back, we'll know more. Okay, well, when would that be? Soon. Well, so what happens now? Do well, we, we, just... keep, we keep Kelly here for observation. Or for how long? Possibly the rest of her pregnancy. That's almost two months. It's the only way we can ensure the health of you and this baby. like a charm, boss. Incredible. The paper won't even print it on their front page. I don't know whether to be elated or infuriated. You may have just unleashed an entire media circus. That's exactly what I intended. I need people talking about the word, the uglier the better. This could all backfire, you know. You piss off somebody like Judge Richards, there's no telling what he'll do. I suppose you're quite happy with yourself, Miss Jackson. I'm happy that it's now a level playing field. Your playing field, of course. Your Honor, I have a young man's life in my hands. My entire case hinges on the use of that word being accepted into evidence. You've made that perfectly clear. And I agree. I think you should be allowed to use that word as many times as you want. It's my courtroom, Mr. Shaughnessy. I think I still get to say what will and won't be said. Of course, Your Honor. I just want Miss Jackson to know that if she wants to make those jurors uncomfortable... What I want is to get my client a fair trial. Are you insinuating you wouldn't? Absolutely not, Your Honor. I can assure you I do not inhibit the execution of the law, nor do I tolerate the bastardizing of it. Now, my instincts tell me to cite you again for contempt of court and throw your butt back in jail, but I couldn't stomach the possibility of prolonging this case any further, so you both may use the word as you see fit, but if I detect one hint of courtroom histrionics, I will see you both in contempt. Why am I being dragged into this? Just covering my basis, Counselor. I'm sure that neither of you is done upsetting my stomach. It's this trial and Johnny that's upsetting her. If it was stress, she would have been in here months ago. So now it's all my fault. It's nobody's fault. She has high blood pressure. And me? Is she all right? Oh. It's... Yeah, it's, it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Hi, Renee. Hey, Collier. So do you think you'll see me? Well, the doctor wants her to get a rest. Johnny's in there saying goodbye now. Okay. Then I'll go grab a cup of coffee. Well, I don't know what God's plan is right now, but he certainly is testing the hell out of our family. Nigga's trying to take over everything. The fine citizens of this county are not going to stand for some Negro teaching their kids. All right, then. Well, thank you very much. Oh, my God. St. Martha's is almost $1,000 more. $1,000? Now, how's a working man supposed to send his kids to a Catholic school. Hear me, man. Soon you're going to be able to send your kids wherever you want without having to worry about those monkeys trying to integrate. Well, I heard it's those high school Catholic girls that are the real problem. Maybe that's why it's so expensive. They're trying to weed out all the fast ones. What are you going on about, Teresa O'Brien? Well, apparently boys have been hanging out around the school. I heard that some girls have even been taken off. You know, expecting and all. Well, I don't believe it. 
No good Catholic school would stand for such a thing. I heard the same thing at my school, too. I guess it makes it easier for them with the skirts and everything. Mary Elizabeth, I will not stand for such talk from you. And go take that thing off. Put on some play clothes or something. Well, maybe one year in a public school wouldn't be such a bad thing. Teresa will be graduating. We can save up and send Mary Elizabeth the second year. Why can't I just go to the same school as Carrie and Renee, Daddy? Daddy? Daddy! What's the matter, baby? They took it from me, Daddy. They can't do that, can they? Do what, honey? Slow down, Renee. We can't understand you. Valedictorian. They won't let me be valedictorian. Well, why not? They didn't say. They just said I didn't qualify. Well, we saw the paper. Your name was at the top of the list. Well, maybe they made a mistake. Come on, Renee. Where are you going, James? I'm going up to that school to straighten this personally. James. Everything's going to be fine, Sarah. I'm just going to talk to them. Make them understand this is one nigga they can't mess with. Where were the three of you hanging out? Right there. And where did you spot Richie West and a Johnny Williams exiting the gym? Here. Did they come directly towards you? No, we were more to the side. So you weren't blocking their path? Not at all, sir. May I? Does this exit lead directly to the parking lot? Yes, sir. So, Richie West and his friend could have come out of the locker room and walked directly across the court and then gone out here to get to their bus. Yes, sir. Are there any lights behind the gym? Yes, ma'am. Where is the nearest light located? Over there somewhere, but it's enough light to see. When exiting the gym through this door, does it lock behind you? Yes. So there was nowhere for my client and his friend to go? We didn't block him or jump him. If they were scared, they could have run. Run where, Mr. Camden? It was dark and they didn't know where they were. If you heard the cocking of a gun, what would you have done? Objection. Nothing further. Continue to mobilize our forces on a daily basis. in your future. Hey, look. We have some new mags. How you doing? I'm fine. I just can't find anything on about the case. I'll turn that stupid TV off. Less stress, you know? Maybe you should go down to the courthouse, see what's happening. Gail said she would call if anything happened. This wasn't how it was supposed to be. Me in the hospital? A Johnny waiting in the courtroom to testify in a murder trial? A Johnny will get through this, and you will have this baby, and everything will be fine. Mom, do you think my baby will ever be called a nigger? I don't know, darling. I imagine as long as there are people in this world who are full of hate, then that's going to be a possibility. Maybe the fault did hurt my baby. The baby's not even here yet. I'm already a horrible mother. Dr. Bivens told you, darling, the fall had nothing to do with this. It was an accident. You fell. People fall. This baby is going to be just fine. You have my word on that. And you know how scared God is of me. Thanks, Mom. Why were you upset? We just lost the city championship. And what did the three of you do after losing the game? I hung out in the back of the gym like we always do. You know, just trying to figure out what went wrong. But you guys didn't go around looking for trouble. No, no, sir. Okay, so what happened while the three of you were just hanging out? Uh, these two guys from Fillmore came out of the gym. Did you say something to them? <coughs> yeah, we, we may have talked a little trash. But you didn't go after them? No, sir. I have no further questions, Your Honor. You say the three of you talked a little trash. What do you consider trash, Reed? You know, just telling them they got lucky this year, stuff like that. Stuff like calling my client a nigger? It, we, we may have thrown the word around, all right? But it's just, it's like, it's just how we talk, you know? It's just like saying, you're my boy. Have you ever heard your parents use the word nigger read? Objection, relevance, the parents aren't on trial here. Your Honor, I'm trying to establish the relationship this witness has with the word nigger. How loud for now? Overruled. Please answer the question, Reed. No, no, they never use the word. So you use the word, but your parents don't? No, I use the A word. I, I don't use the R word. Could you clarify for the court what you mean? You know, the, the word nigger instead of nigger. It, mm. Saying nigger wasn't allowed in my house. You know the difference? Yeah. One's a greeting and one's a racial slur. So when you called Richie West a nigger, he was supposed to distinguish whether you were using the A word or the R word? No, I... Objection. Sustain. You called my client a nigger because he just beat you in a basketball game. No, I, I'm not a racist. I'm, I'm warning you, Jackson. Let me like give that. you a little hint, Mr. Collins. Your Honor, anyone I white uses any variation of that Ms. word in a Jackson. dark gym, it all comes out sounding the same. Settle. 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 Settle.
is now a closed courtroom. If you can't conduct yourselves in a civilized manner, you don't belong. <laughs> Can you please tell the court who threw the first punch? Harlan Palmer or Richie West? Everything happened so fast. We walked out the wrong side of the gym. Somebody called us out and fists started flying. But someone must have started swinging first. Well, before I went down, I saw Richie take a swing. Why? Because they called us niggers. Johnny, how do you feel when someone calls you a nigger? Depends. Coming from a white person, I'd probably take offense to it. How did you feel when Harlan Palmer and his friends called you a nigger? Like they meant to hurt us. Thank you. No further questions. Are you scared of me? Excuse me, sir? Me, a white man, standing in your face. Do I scare you? No. If I had a gun, would I scare you? Oh, anybody pointing a gun at me would scare me, sir. If I called you a nigger, Right now, right to your face. Would I scare you? Objection, Your Honor. Badgering the witness. Your Honor, my colleague is working on the notion of self-defense, that the deceased threw the first punch when he called this young man a nigger. I need to establish how fearful a witness actually was upon hearing this word. Overruled. Now, Mr. Williams, if I called you a nigger, would you be scared? In the back of a gym, maybe. But right now, I just think you're some crazy racist white man. <laughs> now, when you were brought in and questioned by the police, did you tell them you feared for your life? I told them that we were jumped and we had to defend ourselves. I know that, Mr. Williams. Did you tell them you feared for your life? No. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. On the night in question, did you feel your life was threatened because you had allegedly been called a nigger. No. Thank you. Is Johnny back yet? No. Not yet, darling. Your dad's waiting to see you. Let him wait. Sooner or later, you gotta let him in. Fine then. Later. I don't understand. Just a week ago, her name was at the top of the list. It was brought to my attention that Renee Jackson is ineligible to be valedictorian of this class. Ineligible? It's simple, really. Your daughter was a transfer student. She started here after the school year began. That makes her ineligible. I'm fully aware of your school policy, and I don't recall it stipulating the ineligibility of transfer students becoming valedictorian. It became a part of school policy when we realized that students who transfer in from other schools aren't exactly up to this school's curriculum. I'm sorry to hear that, but my daughter is, and she deserves to be valedictorian. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, I don't think you understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. You think I'm just some dumb nigga sitting across from you. Mr. Jackson. Mr. Cantor. I'm a well-respected attorney in my community, and I don't like the way you've been insulting my intelligence since I walked into this office. Now, you listen here, boy. Good. We finally understand one another. I would again urge you to review your policy, or I'll bring down the letter of the law upon this school. Well, did you even ask him about Renee? Oh, sure. I sat my father down. I uh, told him I was inviting a couple of colors over, and he said, sure, son, patting me on the back. That's not funny. Well, what exactly did you want me to say, Mary Elizabeth? You tell your father that you don't care what he thinks and that you're inviting a couple of friends to your party. You are really, you're really trying to get me killed, aren't you? I mean, your own parents still won't let Renee inside the house. Shows what you know. Daddy let Renee come into my room after Johnny's funeral. Oh, so someone's got to die before your dad will let a color inside his house. Ow! Take that back, call your Sims. Mary Elizabeth. Johnny would have wanted us all to be together. The nigger evolved from the southern pronunciation of the Middle French negra, from Spanish or Portuguese negro, from Latin niger. It is usually offensive, a black person or a member of any dark-skinned race, 
Its use by and among blacks is not always intended or taken as offensive, but is otherwise a word expressive of racial hatred and bigotry. And can you please tell the court what dictionary you're reading from? Merriam Webster's. As an etymologist, Dr. Reese, how would you define the word nigger? Nigger is the most explosive racial slur one can hurl at an African American. Its history is steeped in subjugation and severe oppression. Even in today's society? Well, most especially in today's society. As recently as 30 years ago, when a white person referred to a black person as a nigger, there was nothing you could do about that. And now? And now you have rappers and, and, and sports figures and, and celebrities who call themselves 90s niggas, strong, powerful, untouchable. Dr. East, in your expert opinion, are there certain images that are conjured up upon hearing the word nigger? Yes. Images of slavery, oppression, lynchings, fear. Your Honor, I would like to enter these photographs as Exhibit D. Your Honor, I would like to reassert my previous objection to these photographs. As I said earlier, these pictures are highly prejudicial. And as I said earlier, Mr. Shaughnessy, I'm going to allow these photos in light of the defense's offering. You may continue, Miss Jackson. Mm. Images such as these, Dr. East? Yes, images such as these. how prevalent the n-word is in a song that so many kids are listening to african americans have always used the word amongst themselves the word nigger was popularized into the mainstream as rap music itself became more popular you mean once white kids got into it why yes white suburbia and inner city kids don't have much in common but a large majority are linked because this music the lyrics spoken over and over again the N-word, as you refer to it, eventually develops into something quite different. You just said that the N-word repeated over and over develops into something different. Yes, but there are rules for using the word. And white people are supposed to know these rules? Not necessarily. If a white person doesn't use the word, then there's no reason for rules. If, however, someone does decide to use the word nigger in its historical context, then clearly that person had no respect for rules in the first place. Well, I don't understand how you can say in one breath that it's an explosive racial slur and then in the next breath say that black people have always used it as a term of endearment. It's really quite simple, Mr. Shaughnessy. There are some words that are owned by racists and only those racists ought to be allowed to use those words. So when comedians like Chris Rock or Eddie Murphy use the N-word in their comedy routines, are white people allowed to laugh? Chris Rock, Eddie Murphy... Just you're... say yes or no, please, Dr. Heath. Yes. Well, then I guess we all have to be etymologists so that we can decipher the rules Objection. when we hear rap music. We have to know when to laugh and when not to laugh. Objection. When we hear comedy routines. Even you have to admit it's a little bit confusing, isn't it? Your Honor. Finished. Forgetting the rules, Dr. Reese, in your expert opinion, would Richie West have feared for his life upon hearing the word nigger? Miss Jackson, this is the Deep South, home of the Confederate flag home of the bombing of four little black girls in a Baptist church. Did Richie West fear for his life? Absolutely. Mary Elizabeth, go home, get some rest, I'll call you. No one of us needs to be here. You're not one of her favorite people right now. How's Kelly and the baby? Well, Kelly's blood pressure is still too high and the baby's heartbeat is beating a little fast. I spoke with the perinatologist and she thinks we should induce labor in 24 hours. Well, do you think that's wise? I mean, the baby's only 33 weeks, I know. We're having a hard time stabilizing her. If her blood pressure continues to rise, she might go into full-blown eclampsia. And what happens then? Well, Kelly could go into seizures, possibly a coma. A coma? And uh, what, what about the baby? Oh, of course, I'd prefer if the baby's lungs had more time to mature, but I don't want to chance Kelly's blood pressure getting any higher. How did she take the news? She and Johnny would like to hold off delivery as long as possible, but the longer we wait, the riskier it gets for Kelly. Excuse me.
The baby is not due for another seven weeks. Kelly, you're putting your life in jeopardy. It is not worth you sacrificing yourself for the sake of this child. Think about what you were saying. We have. Kelly, the doctor says that delivering the baby is the best chance you have. And we feel we still have time to give our baby a chance. Well, I don't mean to be rude to Johnny, but it's not your body carrying the baby. Well, that is not fair. Do you not understand? You have run out of choices. But it's still our choice. It's not a choice. What's going on in here? Get out. Kelly, I do not want him in here. I am still your father, Kelly. Yeah, my racist father. It was only a matter of time before that came out. This is none of your business, Reggie. My grandchild, my business. All right, all right. None of you are helping. Kelly and I will make this decision on our own. This is a heart-wrenching decision. But the DA offering a deal of criminally negligent homicide at this point in the case... They're already charging him with that. Yes, but they're willing to drop the manslaughter charge. How many years am I staring down if I take the DA's deal? One year, maybe less. A year? Damn it, this isn't fair. Fair or unfair, that's the position we're in right now. Manslaughter is a hard pill for the jury to swallow. I think the prosecution knows that. But you can't say that for certain. No, I can't. Then what are you saying? I can't tell you not to take this deal. But you don't think we should? No. But I'm not the one facing 10 years. No, you're not. It's only a year. How long do you think Richie can last? What if he's convicted, Peter? What do you think, Richie? I killed the white boy. I'm scared I'm not getting out of here for less than 20. Whatever you decide, I'll understand. But if you want to keep fighting, I'll fight for you until there's blood on the floor, and I'll make damn sure it's not yours. Were you scared? Yes. My family's lived in the South for years. I know what that word means. Your best friend, Johnny Williams, testified earlier that he wasn't afraid. I can't speak for it, Johnny. I'm telling you how I felt. I thought I was dead. Could you see who was calling you a nigger? No. It was dark, and they were behind us. So what exactly did you do? Turned around and swung on were you trying to kill Harlan Palmer that night, Richie? No. I heard the word nigger. I felt threatened. I defended myself. So you didn't want to kill Harlan Palmer? No. But you did. Objection? Overruled. It was an accident. Oh, I suppose accidents do happen. Tell me, do you go around killing everybody who calls you a name? It wasn't like that. I just wanted to throw a punch and get the hell out of there. Because he called you a nigger? That's right. Maybe he should have called you a bitch, then he might still be with us. Objection! Sustained. Are you a bitch, Richie? Objection, Your Honor, badgering the witness. Well, how you feel now, bitch? I'm warning you, Mr. Objection. Shaughnessy. Objection! What do you say, Richie? Are you Your a Honor, bitch you or a nigger? That will be enough! The jury would disregard that last exchange. What's wrong with black? You are not wearing a black dress to your party, young lady. It's too adult. Okay, then, red. No, Renee. Why not? Oh, because I said so. You're still going to let me have the party in the basement, right? Your father and I are discussing it. Who was that on the phone, James? That was Renee's school. They reviewed their policy, and it seems Renee is eligible to be valedictorian. I just knew it would work out. Well, what's wrong, James? They're gonna allow Renee to graduate with honors, but they've decided to cancel the graduation. What? They gonna do that to all those children? Because of me? No, not because of you, honey. Because they're too proud and stubborn to say they made a mistake. They'd rather wallow in ignorance and ruin it for everybody. And I worked hard all year for nothing. No, it's never for nothing, Renee. Now, you proved that you're better and smarter than anyone at that school, and nobody can take that away from you. Your daddy is right. This is far from over, honey. So they canceled your graduation? Why? Because they had to make me valedictorian. My dad won't admit it, but I know that's why. That's stupid. They can't do that, can they? Apparently, they can. Well, who cares? All that matters is that my folks said I can go to Fillmore with you and Collier. So when is Collier's party? Uh, Saturday. Same night as mine? Yeah. Then I'm not invited, right? Well, whatever. So what color dress are you wearing? You still coming over early to help me set up? Uh, blue. Emmy, please tell me you're coming to my party. Well, I do not believe you. You know what? I don't care about you or Collier. In fact, neither one of you are invited to my party anymore. 
Come on, Renee. He's my boyfriend. Well, you can have your stupid boyfriend and your parties and your stupid graduations. You know what? Just get out of here, Emmy. We are not here because of the word nigger. We're here because of the death of Harlan Palmer. The defendant says he didn't intend to kill him. But he killed him. He could have run, but he didn't run. He could have yelled for help, but he didn't. Instead, he swung around, punched the victim in the head, and killed him. Now, I know all about fighting words. But words do not stab, and words do not shoot. And thank goodness, in our civilized society, you cannot kill someone for calling you a name, no matter how horrific the word may be. Harlan Palmer and his friends were just hanging out. Richie West and his best friend were lost. Words were exchanged. One was taken out of context. Fists started to fly. And a 16-year-old boy ended up dead. And that's what I want you to remember when you go back into that room, ladies and gentlemen. A family lost their only son. Their child is dead. Because of nothing more than a word. Nigger is a dangerous word which brings with it intent. Intent to belittle, intent to denigrate, intent to injure. And according to the state Supreme Court of Alabama, the very utterance of this word can incite riots. You can no more utter this word in the back of a gym than you can shout fire in a crowded theater. The prosecution would like you to think that the nigger is now just, just another word, sticks and stones, right? <coughs> But if it were just another word, Harlan Palmer would not be dead, and Richie West would not be on trial for manslaughter. Richie West felt that he needed to defend himself because someone called him a nigger in an unfamiliar environment. He felt that his life was in danger, so he swung. Two years ago, black man was dragged to his death. How you feel now, nigger? He swings. A year ago, a young black man was hung. How you feel now, nigger? He swings. Four weeks ago, a young black man walks out of a gym and is jumped by three white males. How you feel now, nigger? He swings. He swings. It doesn't matter how nigger was said. It only matters how Richie heard it.
couldn't even move, Renee. I just, I heard her screaming and then everybody started running and, 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 and Collier was great. He got there in like six seconds, you know, and I just, I froze. You were in shock, honey. Shouldn't you go and be with Richie's parents? I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that they could use all the support they could get right now. So can you. Dad, you want to pray? Might make you feel better. I need to get some air. Collier, where are you going? I, I don't know. I, I just got to get out of here for a second. Don't do that. Don't run away now. ready to listen to what I had to say. I am. Mary Elizabeth, I used to hope that Kelly would have a miscarriage. I thought if there was no baby, all our troubles would go away. So not only am I a racist, I'm one sick son of a... No father should have to hold this little girl, watching her bleed not able to do anything. I was so wrong, Mary Elizabeth. How could I be so wrong? If anything happens to... <laughs> Please, God, I'm the one who deserves it. I deserve it. Not our little girl. Not our baby. Not her baby. <laughs> Tell me what to do to make it right. I make it right. I'm sorry, Shook. I'm so sorry. You've been up here so long, I started to worry about you. Just changing. You didn't even touch your graduation cake. I wasn't really hungry. Isn't tonight the night of Collier's graduation party? Don't you want to get all dolled up, fix your hair real pretty? For what? I'm mad at Collier, Renee's mad at me, and my brother's dead. I don't feel much like dressing up for some dumb party. Mary Elizabeth O'Brien, don't you realize you have your very own guardian angel looking out for you? I bet Johnny was just bursting at the seams watching you at graduation today. Instead of being depressed, I think you ought to be grateful. You have a brother watching out for you always. Did you make all of that up, Mama? So what if I did, Mary Elizabeth? Hey, Renee. We've got a surprise for you. Lord, look how pretty she is. Doesn't she look pretty, James? You look absolutely breathtaking, honey. Thank you, Daddy. So what's the surprise? Open it up. We're going to have our own little graduation right here.
Henry had a party and I wasn't invited, you'd still go. No, I wouldn't. And I guess you're just better than I am. But I don't want to be better than you, Emmy. I just want to be treated as an equal. I want to be able to be valedictorian of my class without the graduation getting canceled. And I want my friend not to have to choose between me and her boyfriend because I'm not allowed to go to his party. We've got all summer, and things will be different once we get into high school. Hey, Mary Elizabeth. Renee, some kids are asking about you. I'll be right down. You staying? I promised Collier I'd come back. I guess I'll see you later. Members of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Will the defendant please rise? What say you? In the matter of the state versus Richie West on the first charge of manslaughter, we find the defendant not guilty. On the second charge of criminally negligent homicide, we find the defendant guilty. Say you one, say you all? Very well. Members of the jury, this court thanks you for your patient service and you are excused. <clears throat> Mr. West, before I pass sentence, is there anything you'd like to say to the court? Your Honor, I would first like to say to the court, and especially Harlan's family, how deeply sorry I am for what happened. I didn't purposely set out to hurt anyone that night. I swung because I thought my life was in danger. And if I could take it all back, I would. I've given us a lot of thought. Because you have no prior record, Mr. West, I sentence you to one year's probation. Court is adjourned. Dr. Peterson. Johnny, how's Kelly? Kelly's uh, a little groggy from the anesthesia, but she's OK. She lost a lot of blood, but she's okay. And the baby? Uh, it's a boy. It's a boy. <gasps> baby, what's wrong? Baby Williams is suffering from respiratory distress syndrome. Right now, his breathing is stable. Is he going to be all right? The next 24 hours will prove crucial in seeing how his lungs develop to maturity, but his APGAR score is good, so I'm not anticipating any problems. He's so small. Well, that's what premature means, Davis. He hasn't fully developed yet. Can you believe it? Our son has a son. Still can't bring yourself to say grandchild, can you? That's going to take some time, OK? Oh, my god. I'm a great grandmother. The baby doesn't seem a little dark to y'all. Daddy. What? They, they switch babies all the time. I saw it on that show, Dateline. And how long will he be in here? He's only three pounds. They're probably going to want him to be over five before discharge. When's Kelly going to be able to see him? We wanted to name him together. Well, as soon as she feels up to it, actually, she was just asking to see the father. Hey, Johnny.
No, it's not okay. I've been a real idiot ass. Yeah. <laughs> you have. <laughs> yeah. See, I thought I knew everything. I thought I had all the answers. But then I took one look at that baby in there and I realized that I knew nothing. I always said that I was never gonna become my dad. But then there I was, giving you a beat without even laying a hand on you. Daddy. I love you, Kel. And I got real scared when I thought I'd never be able to say that to you again. He's so tiny. That seems to be the consensus. How's Kelly? Well, she lost a lot of blood, but the doctor says she'll be okay. The whole family donated. They actually had to kick Collier out of the chair. How's he dealing with having a grandson? He's downstairs with Reggie right now, passing out cigars. Amen to that. This family could certainly use some peace. Congratulations. It, it was all over the news. <laughs> Thank you. This was a hard one. But you know, it, it opened my eyes to what I've been searching for. What's that? A real fight and a reason to fight. I think it's time I finally focused on civil rights law. Even think of expanding my practice. Really? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Did you hear that, baby Williams? This family's going to be just fine. I made my journey through. Come on, we gotta get out. 